relatively nice day across much of the Delta. It was still rather though on the cool side. We were in the mid to upper 50s across much of the area. Picked up on plenty of sunshine. It was also a great day for those who were out working and cleaning up parts of the city here in Greenville. We're, but we're already in the mid 30s across much of the area. It's already 38 right here in Greenville, 36 over in Greenwood, 34 degrees as of right now over in Wyona, Mississippi. Our high today was right at 54 here in Greenville. Low last night was cold, 37. We're really below average for right now for this time of year. It should be around 66 and 43 for daytime highs and lows going into this portion of the November. Now, a quick look at live radar. We are mostly clear across much of the area. Much of the south is mainly in the clear. High pressure has taken over parts of our area, and we're really going to be kicking off next week on the drier side, and we will start warming up, but really until we start hitting that warming period going into Monday and Tuesday, we got to deal with tonight. We do have current freeze warnings that are into effect for Yazoo County, Holmes and Carroll County. Grenada is also included, and we also have a frost advisory that is into effect for Tallahatchie, Panola and Quitman County. So if you have any sensitive vegetation out like maybe a fern or something like that on your front porch, you may want to cover it because we are going to be dipping down into the lower 30s, 33 for Greenwood, 34 for Charleston. Really eastern portions of the viewing area expecting to be the coolest part of overnight tonight, 34 for Yazoo City. Greenville looking to be right around 36. Now as far as frost chances, again mostly eastern portions of the area, mainly east of I-55 we're going to see the highest chances, but still Greenwood at 40% chance, Yazoo City right at 50%. Kosciuszko, 60% chance. Kind of right along the Mississippi River, you'll have less likely of a chance. Greenville and Lake Providence, only at about 20% chance of frost. Now, tomorrow morning, you're going to want to bundle up as you head to church tomorrow, around 37, around 6 a.m. But we're going to warm up rather quickly, 8 o'clock, 40 degrees, and at 10 o'clock, already at 55. Almost a 20 degree difference by the time we wake up at 6 a.m. and by the time we reach around noon tomorrow. So. Bundle up in the morning. You're going to want a light jacket though. It will change rather quickly. 63 around noon. Going to be lightly uh, warmer around going into the afternoon and evening hours. So tomorrow's not going to be that bad of a day. We just got to get through tonight with that possibility of the potential frost and near freezing temperatures for tonight. Now, as the high pressure starts to move out of our area on Tuesday, we're going to start to see a chance of rain starting to return to our area on Wednesday and Thursday with another frontal system that will come through. And it's really going to bring cooler temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday. We'll drop from 77 to 57 on Thursday and 63 by Friday. Now your forecast tonight, expecting a low of 36. It's going to be cold. We do have that freeze warning that is into effect. Winds relatively light out of the west and southwest for tomorrow, high of 67. It's going to be relatively nice and a little bit warmer and winds still relatively light out of the south southwest. And for Monday, another pleasant day is in store, reaching a high of 70, wind still mostly calm. Now, going into seven-day forecast, Wednesday and Thursday is when rain chances will return with that next frontal system dropping temperatures back to the upper 50s and lower 60s with lingering shower activity going into Friday and Saturday. And that's going to wrap it up for your evening weather.